Hey everyone, I'm Amanda. And I'm Jeremy. Welcome to Clover Lane Farmstead. So it's time for our afternoon chores right now. We're gonna take you around, meet some of the animals, and give you a little backstory about how we got started homesteading. Okay, so chickens is actually how we got started. We were living in Arizona at the time and we really wanted some backyard chickens, even though we were not allowed to have them. We got six illegal backyard chickens and we raised them and we got eggs and it was so awesome and that really set us on fire for wanting to have more animals and do more homesteading things. So we quickly realized that we needed more space and we wanted more animals and we wanted grass and that led us to moving out of Arizona and into central Kentucky where we just bought a 22 acre farm that is full of grass and have expanded our animals and just everything that we've been doing. So we've got about 40 uh, egg laying homes and they actually just started laying a few weeks ago so we are swimming in eggs. And it's awesome. And it's awesome. <laughs> so we feed the chickens, we give them water, we collect the eggs. Right now we have to turn the their nesting boxes around so they don't sleep in them. We're kind of training to train them not to sleep in them. Go boys. Otherwise they poop in them and then the eggs get disgusting. So <laughs> this is a really good chore for our boys to do. They're 11 and 6 years old and we don't even have to be out here. They can come do this all by themselves and it helps them learn responsibility and hard work. What do we feed the chickens? This is a non-GMO, uh, locally grown grain mix from a farm about Woo. 40 minutes from here. All right, I did it. I didn't think the food was distracting them. Rowan, do you like getting eggs? Yes. Yes. It's my favorite part about the chicken. Hey, guess what I am? Oh, one of them. I'm his bodyguard from the rooster. They're yeah. so annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah our rooster well. likes to attack us. So ultimately, we just decided that we wanted a different way of life. We wanted to be more self-sufficient. We wanted to grow our own food, raise animals, and just give our kids that lifestyle and we knew that Arizona wasn't going to provide that for us and so that's how we ended up in central Kentucky um, and so far we've been here for almost two years now and it's just been the greatest blessing this is our big one acre pond we love it it's so pretty you get lots of good views around here we've got lots of hills we're making our way down to the cows now this is our girl Clover, and Penelope is behind her. Clover's our queen of the farm here, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so we are out at the sheep giving them hay. They're back there. They are a little skittish still. We've only had them since the end of December. Um, they've been so fun. We have 14 ewes, one ram, and some babies. <laughs> and we could be having babies any day. We have no idea. Most of them should be pregnant, but um, it's been so fun having sheep. <laughs> This is Koa. He's a Great Pyrenees. He's our livestock guardian dog, and he's out here to protect the sheep. Hey, Coco. Good boy. 
By the way, Koa means brave warrior in Hawaiian. That's partly why we named him that. So we're down in the barn right now in one of our stalls with our new baby bull calf, Cedar. This is uh, Polly's baby. We got Polly back in May from Justin Rhodes um, and she's our milk cow. really just excited to share our journey and inspire people if this is something that you on any level desire to do we just want to show you that this is attainable it is absolutely attainable we have zero experience with all of this we watched youtube videos of people doing it we read all kinds of books this lifestyle is attainable and it is worth it okay i just want to say one more thing if you are in a season of waiting, you're waiting, you're looking for the perfect land, for the perfect homestead, whatever, please do not give up. <laughs> it took us a year and a half to find this place, and there were many, many times where I wanted to give up. Um, but I promise you, there is purpose in the waiting, and just keep your hopes up. You will find it. Okay. Are we ready? What What am I saying now? After you didn't like what I said, so what should I say? And I'm Jeremy. And we are gonna do some chores. What am I saying? Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you laugh. You know, you would think because I post videos on Instagram all the time that this would be easy, but it's really not. It feels so awkward. <laughs> like, what do I do with my hands? I don't know. 